Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Black Ops 2 Zombie Challenge, where today I'm playing the map Buried and doing the Shotguns Only Challenge. Now what this challenge is, is I'm only allowed to use shotguns, of course, I'm allowed to use any perks I want. Um, I'm allowed to use the time bomb and the monkey bombs if I want to. And, yeah, we're hopefully going to try and get to round 30. I mean, my last two challenges have been absolute fails. I had my Call of the Dead, um, Call of the Dead spawn room only weapons challenge. And then I also had my Wonder Fizz only challenge on Origins, both of which was absolute fails. I think my um, spawn room only, or spawn room weapons only, made it to like round 13. And then my Wonder Fizz only challenge, I made it to round 12. So hopefully we'll make it pretty far on this challenge. I have high hopes for this. And by the way, I've just been really pumping out some challenges, or not pumping them out, but just been recording a bunch. I have not, this is the same day as my, as I recorded my Wonder Fizz only challenge. I recorded my Wonder Fizz only challenge this morning, and this is the night time now. So, this is the same day as my Wonder Fizz only challenge. So, I've just been recording a lot of these challenges. I'm going to have this go up as soon as my Wonder Fizz only challenge is finished. But we got our two shotguns for right now. We got the Remington 870, I believe it is. Um, yeah, Remington 870 MCS. And with, then we got the Olympia. So, those are our two weapons right now. Um, later on, I do want to try and get the M1216 from the box. Because if you pack a punch of that, it turns into an absolute beast. So, I may keep my Olympia... And pack a punch my M1216. So I have both of them pack a punch, both the Hades and the Mesmerizer, which is the pack a punch M1216 are absolute beast. So I'm definitely going to be using both of those. May even get Mule Kick and pack the Remington, I'm not exactly sure. Don't really like the Remington pack a punch. I love the Olympia because it's just, or uh, the Olympia pack a punch, the Hades, because it sets the zombies on fire. And the Mesmerizer, Mesmerizer Zombies, um, just like the name suggests, it um, makes the zombies explode every time you shoot it, which is just really awesome, really OP. So I will get both of these um, to set the zombies on fire and to make them explode. So hopefully we'll do pretty good. I, I'm going to keep these two um, shotguns until I get, op until I open up Jug, get my Jug. And prob probably get speed call as well. Then I'll start hitting the box. Don't want to hit the box just yet. I want to see if I can try and keep that for the next round. There we go. Is the booze back in here? It is not. Okay, so we got to open up the bar now. I could just go ahead and pick this up real quick. I'm also allowed to use grenades and claymores too. So I'm allowed to use all the equipment and stuff. Sounds like there's a zombie hitting me from behind. Okay, so just throw a couple grenades, hopefully get a couple kills. Yeah, I saw my points go up. So I got a couple kills off of that. I don't want to hit Leroy with it. I don't want to go down either. That'd be bad. Going down on round four? No, thank you. Okay, Leroy's just going to be chasing me until I give him the booze. Probably should have grabbed it this early, but... Whatever. Okay, I love how the zombie smoke riser pit thing came up and then they didn't even spawn right there. Love when that happens. No? Okay, good. I thought I shot him for a second. He like flinched. Okay. I'm not going to be able to build up enough points or as much points as I normally would with these shotguns. Now, the thing about this gun is the only way to get ammo is to get max ammo right there. And, um, I won't be able to go back to the spawn room. Because in order to go to the spawn room, I gotta use the paralyzer, and that's against the rules. So, I won't be able to get, um, ammo for this gun anymore. So, I can only buy this gun one time. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that. Please don't miss. Okay, he's good. 
Nice. Got a nice 940 points. But yeah, um, what was I saying before? Crap, I done forgot. Oh yeah, we'll be able to go get, um, Olympia ammo. Uh, because I can use the paralyzer. So once my ammo's out on this gun, I gotta rely on a max ammo to get more ammo in this gun. I can't get it off of... Well, I can't buy ammo. For the Remington, I can go up there to where Quick Revive is and just buy the Remington on the wall. Since I can get back to Quick Revive. But since I went down that side at the beginning, I will not be able to get the Olympia back. So that is going to be pretty hard. If I run out of ammo in this gun, which is why I think I should. Because, um, think about it. This is technically a wall gun, yes. But I'm going to count it as a box gun. Because box guns, you can only get ammo from a max ammo on them. And that's basically what this is now. So this is technically a wall weapon. But I'm going to count it as a, a box gun. So I got to treat this like a box gun, basically. Um, so I, that's why I kind of want to get Mule Kick. Because I'll have two um, guns that I can't buy ammo off of. I will be able to buy ammo for the Olympia. And if I get the M1216, I will be able to buy ammo for that. Since that's not a wall weapon. So I got really on max ammo for those two guns. So that's why I will get Mule Kick. And that's why I will get Mule Kick and possibly... Get the Remington. Just buy the Remington. I thought that guy did die right there. But that's why I kind of just want to buy the Remington. With Mule Kick. Just so I can easily go up. Buy ammo if I need to. And use that to try and give me a max ammo for the Olympia. And the um, M1216 whenever I start running low on ammo for that gun. Or for those two guns. So that's why I kind of want to get Mule Kick. But at the same time, I don't like Mule Kick. Oh, crap. I may want to end up getting Mule Kick. But if I do, it'll be as a free perk. It won't be... I won't buy Mule Kick. Because four grand for Mule Kick is not worth it, in my opinion. I may just... If I happen to get the M1216 right now, I would just get rid of the Remington for now. Oh, come on. The freaking Paralyzer. Are you... Serious. Okay. But yeah, I love the support you guys have been re leaving recently on these challenges. Every comment, every like, every view on these challenges just makes me want to do them more and more for you guys. So be sure to leave some BO1 and BO2 challenges as well as some what I wore um, classic maps. I want to do some challenges on those at some point too. So be sure to leave some challenges down below. What do you want to see me do? And I'll be sure to shout you out in the beginning of the video if I remember. Sometimes I forget, but most of the time I try to remember. Holy crap. Okay, not going that way. Just got to try and build up these things. I need double tap for the Olympia. Double tap just makes shotguns freaking OP. I cannot stress that enough. Double tap makes any gun OP, but shotguns, it really matters. Because the Olympia would be a one shot still if I had double tap. Because there's a two shot right now. Well, sometimes a two shot. Occasionally, if I shoot them in the head, it's a one shot. But yeah, just continue to leave me challenges down below, and I'll be sure to do your challenges. You guys lately have been leaving me really good and fun challenges to do. And I'm definitely going to be doing some of them. Some of them are extremely unique. Like somebody told me to do a three purchase challenge. Which basically means you can only buy three we or three things. Whether they be perks, um, guns, mystery box, pack-a-punch. You can only buy three of those. So you got to really coordinate which and doors also count. So you got to try to see what doors you want to open. So that's a really fun. And it seems like it would be an intense challenge. Especially if you do four player co-op. Because you'll have to coordinate with each other. Be like, okay, you open this door. I'll open up the next door. We each have one box here. And stuff like that. So you got to really work as a team for that challenge. 
So if I happen to get four players, I may do that as a four player co-op challenge. Because that sounds like a really awesome challenge. I forgot who suggested that, but if you are watching this video, I'm definitely going to do that challenge. Because that's the one that I really like. I like intense and unique challenges like that. That most people don't do. I like those, so I'm definitely going to be doing that challenge at some point. Now, let's see if we can... Oh, crap. Did I give him? I don't know. Yeah, no, I didn't. I thought I did, but... I did cry finish. Holy crap, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, no. Okay. Woo. Need to get double tap for this gun. Holy crap, that's a lot of zombies. Sadly, I don't have a, um, chalk of, uh, Remington. You know what? I just now thought about something. Everybody always puts the Remington chalk, um, by Crypt Revive, but you don't need to. You don't even have to do that. I could put the Remington down here. I could put the Remington chalk down here and be able to use the Remington down here where I'm training at. I can easily buy ammo for it without going up to Quick Revive. I never even thought about that. Everybody I know just gets the Remington, puts it on the wall right there, and then jumps down. I don't even have to do that. For this challenge, I could just put the Remington down here. Guess the reason why most people do that is because that's closest to the spot, and not too many people use the Remington. But for the shotguns only challenge, that would be really awesome. I could put the chalk down here, maybe like right here, hold on, I could put the Remington right here on that wall, and I can easily go up, buy ammo for it if I need to, buy pack ammo if I need to, I don't have to worry about going up to Quick Revive, can't believe I never thought about that, speaking of which, I need to go buy ammo, crap, come here Leroy, yeah, knock her over first. I love that. Love how Leroy just tanks the zombies. Okay. I want to see if I can try and get the M1216 before I go buy ammo. Because like I said, if I do get the M1216, I am going to trade out the Remington for it. That's a sniper. I do not want that. Have I done a sniper only challenge on this map yet? I'm pretty sure I have. I know I've done a pistol only challenge. Pretty sure I've done a sniper's only challenge. Doing the shotgun's only challenge. Um, still want to do an SMG and an LMG challenge on this. Oh, come on. Can I do a Rega Mark II challenge? Would that be possible? No, that'd be a really easy challenge. The Rega Mark II is so OP. Okay. How much is ammo? I think ammo is only 650. So yeah, this is my last attempt. Okay. Oh, and I gotta open a debris too. Fudge it. I will have enough anyway, cause I had to open a debris. Uh huh. M tour. Crap. I need to get that M twelve sixteen. That M twelve sixteen needs to be mine. Well, I got the time bomb at least. Did I just tell Leroy closed his gate? Oh, no. I was like, why did he show his gate? I didn't even shoot at him. Huh. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll get max ammo. That's why I'm hoping right now. See, this would be a problem if I had the Remington on the wall over here. This would be a big deal. But now, since I, was, I didn't think about it at the beginning... I put the Remington up there. It's a huge deal right now. Okay. Move out of the way, Leroy. I don't want to shoot you, but you're in the dang way. Okay. Crap, I may have to resort to using grenades. Yep. Here we go. Have a grenade, zombies. Oh, wow. Got a lot of crawlers. Go ahead and grab that nuke. Come on, give me a max ammo. Please don't end the round either. Come on, max ammo. Oh no. And if we can end it the round too. Ugh. 
Just please, give me the M1216 right now. I want that gun.